<laughs> Welcome back. Well, we love to have just cooking traditions here on our show, always switching it up. And an air fryer is something that we're very intrigued with, and we figured, hey, on Fridays, let's do something with the air fryer, and we came up with a great name. It's Air Fryer Friday. <laughs> so here we are on Fryer Friday, and it's funny because I can't – I can't even count how many times we've done recipes where maybe I've done them at my own house in my kitchen with the air fryer and it's, you know, much nicer to be here with you and we can cook together. Yeah, a, and share family. the recipe with everybody out yes. there. And then the other side of this one that we're doing today, they're pasta chips. This has gone viral all over the yes. place. TikTok, Facebook, Instagram pictures, you name it. So you might have even seen it at home, but uh, today we're living it. We're doing it. And up. remember, anytime you see an air fryer recipe, it can be done in your oven. So it's just quicker and more, you know, it's a more efficient way to cook. So for these for these pasta chips, well, you start out with cooked pasta. First thing first, you have to preheat your air fryer to 400. So you're gonna get that going, and I've already done that, as you'll see through the magic of TV. But here's a product I didn't know existed. I went to go pick up some pasta. I was gonna take it home, boil it, and bring it in for today. Do you know that you can buy it pre-boiled? I did not, and this is great, especially if you're cooking for your kids and they're impatient when it yes. comes to boiling water. So go ahead, Mark, if you would, just go ahead and dump that into this cup. We're gonna do a, like a shaker method on this instead of a bowl. And you can use all of it. All right. Uh, all even though there. it's stuck together, it's fine. It doesn't matter. Then you wanna add some garlic powder or garlic salt. That's garlic powder. And then you want to add some just pre-mixed Italian seasonings. And then how much on this? Is this, this is to your liking? This is all to taste. So right. I'm putting quite a bit in there. You really put in how much you think you're going to want. And then, then if the next batch, it wasn't how you liked it, then all right. So keep on going with the Italian seasonings. And then some grated Parmesan cheese. What about now as a disclaimer? Now, it doesn't look great. No, but when we're done. It doesn't. It but will look delicious. The good news is it will. And so some Parmesan cheese. And then you will either spoon in some olive oil, or when I use an air fryer, I often use spray versions of it. We do the can, same, yeah. Yeah, it just makes it nice. So I would just kind of spray that down in there. I'm gonna spray that in there. And now, this is how I think you should just mix it. Just put that like together and martini. shake it up like a martini. While you're doing that through the magic of television, I've seen so many chefs do this on our show, I'm going to show you that we have already cooked up a batch of the pasta chips. They come out nice and crispy. We did them for 10 minutes at 400. And look at that. They're really crispy. You want to try one? Yeah. Dare you? <laughs> They've cooled off. Oh, they were really hot. But they're, they're nice. And I think it's trial and error. Like, I wouldn't mind them a little crispier. Same. I think we had it sitting a little bit because we wanted right. them prepared. But these are flavored very well. This is great. One of the things, too, I just wanted to explain how an air fryer works. Okay. Because you're not actually frying it. So basically, it's blowing hot air around the food. So that's called convection. What happens with that is the motion around it cooks the food faster, 25% faster. So you could do it in a quick way, mm -hmm. and you could brown whatever you have in there, and that's what causes that effect and the flavor. All right, that's stick very around. More to come right after this. I'm going to have another one.